Well, I'm out here again on Lake Levon getting ready to test a boat. Uh, 2017 Ranger 188, the aluminum uh, bass boat with a uh, 115 command thrust uh, Mercury four stroke. Uh, is the Pro XS command thrust. Uh, this is gonna be a pretty quick test because it is Thursday, the day before Good Friday, and a pretty nice day, a little windy, back pretty windy. And but uh, it's nice enough that there's several people here, and I don't want to be the one guy at the boat ramp hogging it, so it's gonna be a pretty quick test. Just GPS it. Got 45, but there's plenty left. Uh, it's, it's a pretty windy day, and it's hard to drive these things and uh, do these tests on windy days <laughs> under full throttle. Uh, and, you know, I did want to give it a good check and everything. I bought this from an individual, a younger gentleman, a fireman that was uh, getting or he got married and was getting ready to have his first baby so uh, he wasn't going to get to do much fishing for uh, next few years so um, at least uh, that's what his wife was telling him <laughs> and uh, so I thought uh, anyway, I brought it by and I bought it from him he's an original owner one owner boat and uh, he's done some extras to it he put a real nice uh, Lawrence 7 uh, GPS fish finder in front got an uh, Elite 5 on the uh, console here, although I need to learn how to turn the light up on these things. These things have a default where they go dark and you got to get the, turn the brightness up again to see them out here in the sun. So uh, it's working fine, but it's hard. It's a booger bear to see and I'm, like I said, it's going to be a short uh, test drive here. So to wait till I get back to the boat ramp to turn the brightness up. Uh, these things are good running boats. Uh, I'm gonna stop here for a minute. Pull over here where it's a little calmer. Come around to the aluminum boats, and these Ranger aluminum boats are are pretty sought after. So I was excited to get this thing. I'll stand up here and show it off a little bit here. Unhook my kill switch. All right, here we go. He uh, added a 80-pound thrust. Minn Kota, iPilot, Tarova, 24 volt. It's got the spot lock, GPS in it, the HDS7, and this they make several different um, levels of this. These uh, HDS, the Lorant Sevens. This one's got the uh, one where you can put the Lake Map card in it, GPS on it. GPS puck that goes with it or the spot lock. Very clean. Seats are in great shape. No sun damage. He kept it inside and he kept it covered. In fact, it's got the factory cover. This thing runs like a top, like a wristwatch. Just purring away good strong stream of water he took very good care of this boat kept it inside like I said had it serviced regularly he also put uh, hydraulic steering on it which is you know that's if you had boats with hydraulic steering it really does make it nice as far as turning the thing and everything this one here is feels like it's got power steering it's so smooth put my seat back in here 
these seats, the casting seats, he stood up to fish. So he claims they've never been used and as clean as they are, that's probably true. I have no reason to doubt it. I, in fact, I, I'd be very, I'm gonna say it is absolutely true. Nice big front deck, carpet's in good shape. Hook 5 Elite from the Rants Elite 5 or Elite ST, no 5T. Oh, he's got side scan on this thing too, by the way, when he went with the uh, 7 up front. And it's just a very nice boat. Uh, GPS didn't hit 45, but like I said, there's some left there. I'm going to take a quick spin here while we're stopped run the trim down a little bit and here we go and we're up and running on plane trim it up a little bit like I said this thing really drives nice with that hydraulic steering put on it just cruises no torque on the steering wheel although with the uh Hydraulic steering that pretty much eliminates it. Here you go. Look, mom, no hands kind of thing again. Anyhow, I am going to keep this pretty short and sweet. Uh, I'm going to show the motor running here in just a minute. Like I said, you can tell. I, well, hopefully you can tell. It's it's got us there a chop. It's probably blowing 14, 15 miles an hour, and this lake does not have very much cover, so. 14 or 15 is uh, blowing sideways across the you know ramp can be a little challenging putting these things back on so here we go running up here sizable wake and didn't even face this thing. In fact, we're cutting out right now where there's quite a bit of chopping boat wakes and white caps and uh, it handles it really well. Really well. Anyhow, that's going to take care of the lake test. I'm going to put this thing back on the trailer and I'll do a walk around. Thank y'all for watching. All right. Well, I just finished my lake check on this uh, 2017 Ranger RT-188. Uh, thought I'd pull up here on the boat ramp parking lot and do a quick walk around, so you can kind of get an idea of the condition of this thing. It's as uh, as I said on the test drive. This thing is very, very clean. It's a 2017. It's got the 115 Mercury Pro XS Command Thrust. You don't find, usually you find one or the other. This one's both. Uh, we'll start out here. As I said, it's got the Minn Kota Tarova High Pilot. You can see that. 80 pound thrust. Lawrence HDS7 with the uh, capability of putting the uh, lake card in it. As I said earlier, also on the test drive, but it's worth repeating. They make various uh, levels of that uh, Lowrance 7. So some of them have the capability of putting the lake map in, some don't. Some don't even have the lake maps in them. Um, they make a wide variety of those, but you know, this is the the nice one with the lake map capability and GPS. We'll start out here showing underneath this thing. And this is one thing that uh, Ranger does that I really like, and that is they paint the sides, but they leave the bottom, at least on this year model. I don't think they even do this anymore, but they leave it uh, 
aluminum so it doesn't show scratches and stuff and I really like that this guy took good care of this boat there is no the decals are still in excellent shape not faded the side is painted and everything but it is not scratched up one little bitty scratch right there and that is pretty much all of it it's got the alloy wheels it's got the nice Carlisle tire, tires, and I'm sure those have been replaced because they don't come with the Carlisles, to the best of my knowledge. I've never seen it. I didn't ask him, but I wish to have because it's pretty obvious they're new tires, I believe. Stainless steel prop, excellent condition, not beat up or anything, 24 pitch. I think it could run more. Skeg's in excellent shape. Not a bunch of mineral buildup or anything. So it's been well taken care of. Here we go. We got some uh, ducks coming up here, and I guess they think I may have some bread or something. Sorry, guys. Got nothing. Got nothing for you. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? He's got the side scan on it. There's a transducer for that nicer Lowrance uh, electronics. Seats, excellent shape, as I said earlier. No uh, sun damage. And of course there again is the uh, Lowrance Elite 5. Around here, the carpet's in excellent shape, not faded, not worn out. Here's the side on this one. There's no scratches on this side at all. Here comes my buddies here. They're still, they're, they're thinking there's got to be some food with that guy somewhere. Anyhow, here's the other side. Bottom's not dented up or anything. Good, clean, clean boat. Anyhow, that'll give you an idea of the condition of the thing. And I appreciate y'all watching. Thank you.